Um, please do not ask. When you end up punching any mob or you break any block, yeah, you can now pick up blocks and mobs. And you can also yeet them. What? And the wall even falls off. Well, I actually was not expecting that. And not only that, but they removed enchanting. So you can't earn any experience points. And most of all, cannot open your inventory. Because there is no inventory. So the only thing they can really do is use commands to get items. And of course, break and pick up blocks and mobs. If you enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing. As it helps out quite a bit and shows your support for the channel. Thank you. I definitely really do like this feature quite a bit. And matter of fact, there's actually a mod called the Yeet mod I believe that does exactly this. You're able to pick up mobs, able to throw them around, and that's basically how the whole mod works. So I guess essentially Mojang really added a mod to the game. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. You can actually get attributes of mobs. So if I grab the chicken, and I stop flying, we're going down to the ground very gently. And if I grab a bee, the bee makes you fly upwards. That's actually pretty cool. So if you want to grab a bee to go up like a mountain or something, getting up mountains is going to be a lot easier, but it's going to be a lot slower too. As you saw from the beginning of the video, you can also stack multiple mobs. And the funny thing is, if I were to throw the mob, if the bee ends up surviving, it would even cause mobs to fly up as well. I think I'm a still a villager. But I gotta make sure the Iron Golem doesn't notice me. Okay, his turn is back. Go, 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 go. Villager, you might be a nitwit, but you're coming with me. I don't think the Iron Golem spotted me. He's like looking around like, but let's get out of here. Shh, quiet villager. Nobody will ever notice. I mean, who cares about nitwits, right? And I've also just now noticed that I've got a block on my head. How in the world did that happen? But it is now nighttime, and I am now ready to try to pick up some all monsters. And I definitely will go to the end dimension, and we'll see if I can pick up the ender dragon. If we can pick up the ender dragon, then that's going to be insane. But let me pick up the skeleton. I'll pick up a spider. We're now holding a spider jockey. Oh my goodness, we can even climb up a tree. So we got the attributes of a spider. Oh, I'm loving this so, so much. And you can also notice that there's items on the ground. But I'll get onto that in a moment. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Get on my head, Mr. Creeper. And we can now carry a creeper. Can you imagine just picking up a creeper and taking it to your friend's house? That would actually be quite of a funny prank. But get out of here, creeper. I don't want you anymore. I now want the zombie. And the zombie is going to ride the pig. And now we got an upside down pig with a zombie on top. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to hold it together. This is just absolutely hilarious. Oh, I love this so, so much. Now, if the mobs do somehow survive when they're stacked, they will actually stay stacked on one another. So that's going to be another feature that you can all do. Um, so I was playing around the world, and then I noticed the skeleton. Look at his face. <laughs> okay, I am... <laughs> Oh my goodness, this looks like so funny. Uh, what are you doing? I have no clue what's going on with the skeleton, but he needs to get his eyes checked. So get out of here, skeleton. I thought I could grab a diamond sword to kill a few mobs, but then I realized I can't hold items properly. What in the world is going on with the sword? Okay, you know what? What happens if I throw it at a mob? Oh! It actually hits the mob, but does it work for any item? Let's see. Um, no, it only works for a rock weapon. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So if you ever wanted throwing daggers in Minecraft, well, now you got throwing daggers in Minecraft. You can also have items on the ground. So we got pork chops, we got round flesh, we got some mud down there, and there's gunpowder right over here in our sword. So basically, whenever a mob ends up dying, or you throw any item inside the game now, they're just going to be put onto the ground. This is definitely a feature I kind of wish was inside the game. Like, I guess it would be really cool if you could place any item onto the ground. And they're actually using invisible item frames. So the invisible item frame, well, you actually got to use in survival now. Well, except for the fact that you have no inventory. I'm going to grab myself a glass block. So if you throw the glass hard enough, it will end up shattering. But if you throw it at a shorter range, then it will just be placed onto the ground. So glass, it's actually going to shatter if you throw it. But my question is, does the same thing occur for glass panes in the glass bottle? First off is the glass pane, and it looks like it did not shatter. Was it because I didn't throw it hard enough? Uh, let's see. Um, it shattered that time. Okay, before I didn't throw it too hard. And I can presume that the same thing would occur for stained glass as well. And let's try that with the glass bottle. Let's throw the bottle. The bottle did not shatter. So I'm guessing it only occurs for panes in the glass block. So let's try that again. And did it shatter? Nope, it did not shatter. Oh, I want to grab an Enderman. Oh, yeah, we've got an Enderman. Now, I think it'd be really cool if you grab the Enderman, and if you crouched, then the Enderman would teleport you. I think that'd be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and throw the Enderman right into that water. Enderman, I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to throw you into water. So, good, 
that I was about to throw. <laughs> I never thought I'd say that in my life. I just had a bad throw in Minecraft. All right, there we go. Enderman, enjoy the water. I said, I said, enjoy the water, okay? You don't want to make me upset. Where'd the Enderman go? I want to throw this grass block at him. I'm so angry, I want to throw a block at someone. I have no idea what's going on today. Oh, this is a very strange day. Enderman, why do you have a shulker box? I just want to know if I can throw this block at you. So if I can throw it without you teleporting, then that'd be cool. Oh yes, we can hit Enderman with blocks. Oh, this is my new favorite update. The update to where we can actually hear Enderman by throwing blocks. But I really want to know what the Enderman's holding. Enderman, I need to know what you're holding. So Enderman, you stay on my head and let's see. Um, he didn't drop the box. I really want to know what's in that box. Now I feel like Spongebob trying to figure out what's in the box. Oh, this Enderman's holding a cake. That is a really cool secret feature. So when you summon Enderman, they're going to be holding something random. What's the next Enderman going to hold? Oh, he has a glass pane. This time he's holding a flower. Oh, that is so nice. All right, I think I'm getting distracted. Oh. It's a party! Enderman, they're all holding items. Oh my goodness, the id has just got so much better. He's holding a catalyst. Buddy, where did you get that skull catalyst? This Enderman looks like he's holding something, but he's holding nothing. All right, Ender Dragon, I got to see. Can I pick you up? If I could pick you up, that would be so amazing. All right, I think I need to get rid of these crystals first. Oh, I can pick up the crystals. I was not expecting that. And you can't even throw them. They just stay in one place. And then you can't even pick them up again afterwards. Where'd the water come from? Enderment, did you just put water down? Um, wait. Oh, it's a glass pane with water. Wait, when you're in the end, does random blocks appear? Or is it because the Enderman is placing the blocks down? I think the Enderman might be placing down blocks. But the dragon is now down here. Can't pick up the dragon. What kind of insanity is this? So I got rid of all the end crystals. And I'm going to try this again. Can we pick him up? Oh, we, we're picking on the other dragon. Oh my gosh. He can ride the other dragon. I love it. Oh, dreams do come true. That should be a feature, right? That should most definitely be a feature. We should be able to have the ender dragon and ride him around. Oh, I love that. I loved every second of that. All right, Wither Boss has been summoned. All right, so this one's probably gonna be tricky because he flies around a lot. But, let's see, you can pick him up. Um, I think I have to get the right angle. I can't pick up the Wither Boss. Well, at least we can ride the Ender Dragon, but we cannot end up picking up no Wither Boss. That is a big shame. The last thing I want to do is try to see what happens if you try to pick up a gas. That could be ride the gas, or is the gas just going to end up having us pick it up? So let's summon in our gas, and if you can ride the gas, then that would be amazing. Um, this looks rather awkward. Let's not talk about that. Low Squid, you have been the hatred of the Minecraft community for years. So, let this be a lesson to all Glow Squids out there. Goodbye, Glow Squid. He is now gone. That's basically it for this April Fool's snapshot. And my goodness, this is probably one of the wackiest snapshots that I have seen in such a long time. And I definitely enjoy it. We're able to throw mobs around, throw blocks around. We now have two ants instead of one. And best of all, and best of all, we can even ride the Ender Dragon. My goodness, this is one of the greatest days of my life. But with that being said, go and let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're around here. And for now, I hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.